In this video, we'll be going over plus one. So given a non-empty array of decimal digits representing a non-negative integer, increment one to the integer. The digits are stored such that the most significant digit is at the head of the list and each element in the array contains a single digit. You may assume the integer does not contain any leading zero except for the number zero itself. So for example, we have one, two, three. We add one to the rightmost digit, so we get one, two, three, uh, one, two, four. And in our second example, we have 4, 3, 2, 1, and we add 1 to the rightmost digit, so we get 4, 3, 2, 2. Now, let's go over the dot process. We will be adding 1 to the rightmost digit in the input array. But a side case we have to handle is, what if this is a carry? We will need to pass the carry to the digit. To the adjacent digit on the on the left side. This means we will need to keep track of the sum and also the current carry. One more side case, another side case we have to handle is what if, if we add one but then the result is longer than the input rate. Another side case we have to handle is when we add one to the input array, the resulting array will be a length of one greater than the length of the input array. So one example is what if the input array is nine nine nine. Then the result we want is one zero zero zero. This means we will need to keep track of our results inside a list and then convert it to array later. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to create a list results to keep track of the sum. And then this is this, um, this going to be a linked list. No, no, let's, because we're going to be inserting digits to the front of the array, then we want to use a linked list to avoid shifting all of the elements. And we're going to create a variable carry to keep track of the current carry, which will initially be equal to one. This is to mimic the plus one. Then we're going to iterate through the indices from the end of the array. So digits.length minus one to zero because when we want to process the digits from right to left, denote it as i. So we're going to find the sum. Find the sum of the current digits. And sum is equal to is the current digit plus the carry. Then we're going to set carry to 1 if sum is greater than 9. Else, we're going to set carry to 0. Then we're going to prepend sum modulus 9. Uh, modulus 10 because we only want the ones digit into our results into result for example if we have the value 19 then we only want to append prepend the digit 9 to our result list so this means if we have 19 so we prepend 9 to the list because the one is, is going to be carried over as we see here then after after we process all the digits, if carry is greater than zero, this means this case here, we have a carry greater than zero. Then we, we need to prepend one to our resulting list. Then we want to return an array representation of result. Now let's go over time and space complexity. So the time complexity is of 2n where it's always O of n, where n is the length of the input array. So we process each digit, uh, each index plus converting list to array. Now our space complexity is also O of 2n, and that's because of the result list and the result array. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to create our first create our list. Results is go to new link list. 
now we're going to create our carry, which initially going to be equal to zero, uh, equal to one. Then we're, uh, we're going to process the digits from right to left. Find the sum of the current digit, digits i plus the carry, and then set carry to one. So if sum is greater than nine, then we the carry is going to be equal to one, else the carry is going to be to zero. Then we, we want to prepend the ones digit of sum to our result. Then if carry, after we process all of the digits, if carry is greater than zero, we want to prepend one to our results. Then we want to return an array representation of results. So result.stream dot map to int dot to array. Let me know if any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass the technical interview. I, up I upload videos every day and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.